Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows channel and uh, I want to talk about Microsoft Edge in this video as uh, there are a few new things that we know about Edge and Microsoft has announced several um, interesting features that will be coming in Microsoft Edge in uh, the future. So uh, in the blog post, Microsoft talked about Microsoft Edge a lot and its features coming in the Creators Update. So of course, if you follow the Insider videos, you've seen new features that are not available in the reg regular uh, Edge that you see here. And of course, in the Creators Update, there are a few things that are added. So uh, one of the few things is the uh, ability to save tabs. So on the upper left corner, you got an icon and you can actually set tabs aside in order to keep them for later use. And at first, I thought it was a little gimmicky, but uh, I started thinking about how it could be interesting, actually, uh, especially saving, you know, all these tabs that maybe is something that you go to, you know, websites you go to all the time. So I think that's pretty cool. Also, um, the um, in the features that we will have, of course, um, there will be uh, more um, help in actually organizing the content of um, your everyday usage of your browser. Uh, apparently, according to research, uh, Windows users spend more than 50% of their time on the web, but are often derailed by the arduous task of having to sift through countless search results. So basically, that will actually, they'll try to manage that and have um, a better uh, usage of the searches. Uh, that's going to be uh, interesting and you'll be able to, of course, to use the tabs that you set aside uh, with that feature on the upper left corner. What is also coming to Microsoft Edge browser uh, will be a um, 3D style. So they're embracing 3D. Over the coming years, virtual and mixed reality will change the way they interact with technology. So Edge will have different 3D um, and offer virtual reality experiences that you can interact with. So if you have a VR device, Edge is going to be the browser to use that. So these are things coming slowly. Books come to the browser. Um, if you um, are on the Insider Preview, you already have access. The Windows Store will first of all have a books side that you can't see here, but is going to be available. And basically, that means that you'll be able to purchase books, but also means that Edge will be able to display EPUBs. So if you have EPUBs that are available, uh, it will be opening and Edge will become a EPUB or a uh, EPUB publishing reader. So basically any books that you have will be able to open here. And also there's going to be a possibility with a little icon on the upper right corner to have the books read to you. So books will be in Edge browser. Of course, you'll be able to use other viewers, but uh, Edge will by default uh, be able to do this. Online shopping apparently is going to become easier. There will be a payment request API for Microsoft Edge. That means that um, if you have Microsoft Wallet on Windows 10 PCs, well, you will have a payment API built into Edge to make it easier to go through checkout and do some shopping online. So that's also something that's quite interesting when you think about it. Uh, continued expansion of the extensions. Of course, we have a few extensions, but this is getting better and better as time goes on. So of course, these are the extensions right now. As you see, they're growing slowly. If you go to C the web extensions from time to time, you'll see that it actually grows. There are more and more extensions coming to uh, Edge. And of course, the uh, Microsoft X X Edge <laughs> extension toolkit will help porting um, the and debugging extensions from Chrome to Edge, which is pretty nice. And um, basically, they will add more and more extensions as time goes by, including TrueKey and a lot of stuff that's not there yet. 
Also, in performance, faster, safer, and more efficient than ever. So the browser is, of course, the number one entry to your world of the internet. And what Microsoft Edge wants to do is to be a class-leading uh, browser in efficiency, performance, and security. So uh, they want to really make this the number one browser that is the most secure of all, that is the fastest, that is the most efficient at doing something. So uh, that's pretty much what we know of things coming to our Microsoft Edge browser in our a near future with the Creators Update that is supposed to be released in the month of uh, April. And they want Microsoft Edge to help you organize your web better. So of course, also uh, new ways uh, here in the menus, new ways. And by the way, if you are also on my other uh, Windows 10 unique channel, you'll see these features that I can't show you here because I will be showing the features from the Insider Preview on that channel, which will be a different video uh, talking about the features because I'll be able to show you a few more than I show you here. And if you're an Insider, my Windows 10 channel will really focus much more on Insider stuff. So I think it's going to be interesting if you're an Insider. And this will dif differentiate the two channels which means each will have a specific focus where here we're going to have main videos of Windows. The other one will have videos sometimes of the same content, but a lot of insider stuff that will not appear on this side also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and uh, I will post the link to the uh, other channel in this uh, video. So if you want to join my other channel, you'll be able to do so. Uh, mostly if you're an insider, because it will be really, really insider-oriented and focused. Thank you for watching.